Hi, my name is Samir Iqbal and today we're very lucky as joining me in the Baffler Kids Zoom room is the creator and cast of brand new CBBC shows, Lagging. Welcome to Baffler Kids, everyone. Hi. 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 Hi, Samira. So before we get going, can you all do just a quick little introduction for our audience, your name, who you play, and a quick fact or two about the character or job that you do on the show. Dan, do you want to start? Sure. Um, I'm Dan Belenka. Uh, I'm a writer and director, and I created uh, Lagging, um, which is a new comedy about friendship and video gaming. Great. Isaac? Hi, I'm Isaac. I play the character of Mo, and Mo's quite like a silly character. He thinks he's really, like, cool and thinks he can do everything, but actually he can't. Great. Sienna? Hi, I'm Sienna. I play the character Leah. Leah's brutally honest, may it be for the worst, and I think she takes advantage of it, but does sometimes use it in a good way. Hello, my name is Armandas, and I play the character Ray. And my character is very humble and really, really honest. And he comes from a different background from the others, but it doesn't really stop him. Yoni? Hi, my name is Yoni. I play Sol, and he's very bossy. He doesn't like to admit that, though, and he's very paranoid. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shay, um, and I play the role of Cedric. Cedric is really intelligent. And what he loves most is probably games and role-playing. Like, even if role-playing's fun to him, it's, like, really serious because he really loves role-playing. So, back to Dan. As the creator of Lagging, can you tell us about the show? What inspired you to make it? Uh, it's one of those things that just uh, came about. I was chatting to somebody at the BBC. I've written a lot of shows about friendship, but they tend to be, um, they tended to be shows about girls. Um, and it occurred to me that I hadn't seen a show where the central friendship group was boys. Um, so, I, so that was something I wanted to write about. Um, and then just looking at my own kids as they were as they were growing up and when they were the age of these guys, video games were hugely important to them. And that's what their social life really revolved around. And it just seemed like a really natural way to bring a friendship group to, together. And the way, you know, the way my kids would play games, it didn't really matter whether they were physically in the same place or not. Um, so, you know, Sienna's character lives further away, but it doesn't make a difference to their friendship. And so I wanted to write about how your friendships uh, can be every bit as strong. And there's just something about video gaming that I think is a sort of a, a good metaphor for, for all of us of how we, how we live and how we battle and how we're trying to find out who we are. Because in gaming, you have a character and you modify that character and you create that character and you shape that character. And in a way, I think that's what we, what we all do, um, you know, as we're growing up and we're still doing it when we're, when we're adults. So that, that, was the, that was the idea behind the show. Cool. So now... On to the stars of the show. For many of you guys, this will be your first on-screen debut. How are you guys feeling about that? It's really exciting. Just, I'm sure all of us just can't wait to just see it on the screen for the first time. Yeah, it's so much different to what you actually think it is as well. Because when you're on set, it's so much more crowded and there's so many more people. You know, when you usually see TV shows, you just see them. You don't know what goes on behind it. You don't know how it's formed or it's truly about until you watch it but you know because we've been in it it's kind of interesting to see it put all together and really know the backstory of what it's meant to me. So it's safe to say that you're all very excited for this to come out and watch it. Oh, yeah definitely yeah. yeah. <laughs> so can one of you tell me a bit about your gang and why exactly is it called Smorkel because all the viewers must be watching like Smorkel is a bit of an unusual name does anyone want to explain? It's the beginning of all of our names. So small call Sol, Mo, Ray, Cedric, Leah, and yeah, it's it's quite an it's an interesting name. But it's if you think about it, it's quite cool. Yeah, like it's quite it. a clever name as well. So who came up with the idea of the name small call? I think we all came up with it as quite like a group decision. So yeah. I think we all had our names. We're like, well, why don't we just put the first two letters as of our names in? And we just came up with Schmarkel. <laughs> <laughs> The characters are addicted to games. Do any of you guys play games? And what would you say are your like top two go-to games? I'm more into like fantasy games. 
Um, recently, I've been really liking playing games in Impact. Even though it's not so much multiplayer, and I do like to play multiplayer, I do think it's kind of interesting to explore a different world that you're not in. Yeah. Yeah, I love those sort of games as well. I feel like they're so interesting and it's just, it's out of this normal world. I would go with like racing games uh, because like you kind of get to have the opportunity to, I don't know, just like feel kind of what it would be like if you um, had cars or like, you know, because like you can just, yeah, in my opinion, car, like car games and all that is like my favourite. Um, and being able to play with other people because it kind of just brings you all together. So, yeah. 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 I feel like with car games, like, it kind of gets you prepared for the future, even though you're not actually driving a car. It gives you a little bit of experience, just a tiny bit. Yeah. And it's oh. very competitive for most games get. <laughs> if anything, too competitive. <laughs> yeah, when we were on set, when we were in the, like, our chill-out room, so the green screen room, we found a game called Asphalt Legends, and we all yeah. played it, all <laughs> it. And we were all, like, seeing who oh. could get the best cars and who could get the best time. And that was just really fun, chilling in there and just playing the same game and just having fun, yeah. So you guys are a very competitive bunch of a bunch of people, yeah? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, often we all joined one game of Among Us and that was oh. very competitive. <laughs> was very competitive. That name calling and everything. It just, <laughs> it'd end up in us shouting across the green screen room and the chaperones have <laughs> tell us to be quiet. <laughs> It's so interesting to see how well these characters gel together. Would you say that you're the same offset or is it only an onset kind of thing? As soon as we met each other, we just like, we all just clicked to, we all get on with the same things because most of us like gaming and yeah. So you're like a family kind of then? Yeah. 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 We'll go up through the years. <laughs> <laughs> because you guys had to film during um, the COVID-19 situation, was that a bit of a bump in your friendship or how did you guys stay in contact? So well, there wasn't a bump at all. We just, <laughs> we had to wear masks when we weren't filming. But when we were, we were had to stay two metres apart. So when you're watching it, it'll look really like, we never really go near each other. They filmed it in a really good way to make yeah, it all like, They spit yeah. it and then put us close together. But yeah. really, we're like, one here, one here, and we just yeah. shouting to each other the whole time. <laughs> yeah. So would you say it was definitely difficult trying to film in the whole COVID-19 situation? Yeah. yeah. But it was an experience. It yeah, was a- we had to do yeah. lots of interesting things, like we had to do our own makeup and hair, and that we learned something new there, so. <laughs> you had to do your own makeup and hair. How did that go yeah. then? Oh dear, you do not want to know. It was the hair that really annoyed me because I've got really weird hair. Yeah, we had um, something called bed, like we had bed heads some mornings yeah. and we just, we were just like, okay, let's get it down. Because we had to put it, some it. really incredible times at half five sometimes. <laughs> so we had to be there by half six and it was like, oh, but I've got bed heads and oh, it'll take another hour to get makeup and hair done. It's like, oh. Amanda, Ray is known to be fluent in Lithuanian. Could you teach all the viewers watching this just a word or two in Lithuanian? Um, so you could say labos for like hello. Um, if someone gives you something, you could be like acho, which means thank you. Right, okay, acho. I don't know if I'm saying that right. That's all right. <laughs> right, so Sienna, you play the character Leah and Leah is the only girl in Team Smallpool. Is there anything you would like to say to the female viewers who may also have interest in video games? I think just be out there. I mean, there's nothing wrong with liking video games because you're a guy. I think it's something that's fun, something anybody can do. So yeah. just go with it. If you like it, you do yeah. it. Um, say your character Cedric is incredibly intelligent. So, are you similar? And if so, what are your favourite subjects in school? Well, my personal favourite subject in school is like is maths and Mandarin Chinese, which is one subject that we do at my school. But yeah, I think um, I'd say I'm quite smart, but definitely not as smart as Cedric. There. 
So back to Dan, the amazing writer of this comedic show. Which character would you say is like most like you and why? Well, <laughs> the, the character in some ways that's most like me is, is Sol's dad, in as much as um, Sol is loosely based on, uh, <laughs> on on one of my kids. There's 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 a lot of um, parallels there. So that's the sort of the autobiographical bit. And as I say, but all of them are in some way, um, you know, they become their own characters, but but they're all sort of people I, I know. The reason why this show means so much to me was because it was a chance to, um, to, to, to just reflect the world that I'd seen and seen the kids that I'd seen. So, you know, uh, the fact that Ray's character is Lithuanian, this is because where my kids went to school, they went to school with lots of kids who were Lithuanian or Polish or Romanian. And I just felt we we never see them on on TV. So that was that was something that was important to me. Um, and it's lovely to have Amandas there playing playing Ray. And it just it just, you know, all the characters bring something that I think we we don't see very often. And I, I also I just want to take the opportunity to say just how terrific the performances are, because uh, th these are not easy scripts to do for, for any actor, but particularly for young actors. These guys have brought those characters to life so, so brilliantly. It's, it's wonderful to see. I think they're really good, really good comedy performances, but also there are moments that will, you know, that will make you choke up a little bit. There's a lot of emotion in the show too. It's really beautiful. And, and it's, it's all down to these guys. Okay, guys, so if there was, theoretically, theoretically, if there was a series two, is there anything particular you would like to see in it? What I'd like to see is everyone, because we didn't actually, I think we only got to do one or two scenes where we, all five of us, were all in the same room doing the same scene. One scene, scene. Yeah, at so the end, I, the whole thing, one oh, scene. That's what I want to do, I want to do more scenes with everyone, and I think that just make the series more better, because... Uh, us four wouldn't be calling uh, Leah every day or something and playing games. We'd do more with her. And, and yeah. more of all of our families, like more of my yeah. dad, Mo's parents, Leah's mum. I think, and more of uh, Ray's mum and um, Cedric's parents. I think, I think having more of them, like just like all of them in all, like, all of us in one scene, including the parents, like the parents having a chat and us all like, like yeah. a meet up halfway between Le yeah. where Leah is and halfway between where we are, all of our, all of us meet up. And I think it would be, it would make for quite a cool scene. I think, yeah. I think it would be cool to have more yeah. of us in one scene. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much to Dan and the cast of CBBC's Lagging. Make sure to tune in to watch the new show and do not forget to bring popcorn because trust me, it definitely gets interesting. This is Samir Iqbal presented for BAFTA Kids. Thank you and goodbye.